In this video, we're going to be trying to find out which is my fastest running shoe. Is it the Hoka Rocket X2 or is it the Nike Vaporfly Next% 3? to Fast Shoe HQ here at 40 Runs. Yes, this is a Fast Shoe shootout on the channel today. So this year, my times have been falling uh, and I put some of that down to me being awesome and my training. And also I put some of that down to the shoes that I run in. But it did get me thinking the other day, actually out of the shoes that I own, because we did a, another video which sort of led to this, but which out of the shoes I own are actually my fastest. And I've pretty much narrowed it down to the Hoka Rocket X2 and the Vaporfly Next% 3. Uh, the Adidas Adios Pro 3 is probably my fastest marathon shoe. And I've got the Endorphin Elite, but I'm not sure whether that's really a fast shoe for like 10Ks, 5Ks. I think that's probably a marathon shoe. So yeah, it kind of got me um, thinking about it. And I think these two are probably my fastest shoes. So how this video is going to work is we're going to take these two shoes, uh, we're going to take the Vaporfly Next% 3 to a 10k and I'm going to try and beat my PB in these and I'm going to take the Rocket X2 first to a, a park run to try and beat my 5k personal best. I'm then going to evaluate both the shoes at the end of this video and let you know which one is um, fastest and which one felt the fastest and which one would I say is my fastest and why. Right, so now you know what we're doing. Uh, do we talk a little bit about the stats and features of these shoes? Yeah, kind of quickly. Uh, this has got 40 mil stack roughly. Zoom X, uh, full length carbon plate, flying it upper, and it's ready to go. We've got slightly under that. I think from memory it's 37 mil. I might be wrong. Uh, but we've got a new paper based foam here in this shoe uh, with a full length carbon plate as well. And we've got like a mono mesh upper. This shoe doesn't fit true to size. Uh, you've got to go upper size. Both of these shoes are around 200 pounds for argument's sake. And yeah, I think that's probably about it in terms of stats and features really quick. Right, okay, so first up, let's take the Hoka Rocket X2 down to South End and try and beat my 5K PB. KPB smash, tick the box. How was the shoe? Well, it's pretty awesome. Uh, what's interesting, actually, is I did a 5K, that part run, the exact same one, in the Puma Forever Run Nitro Fast Forward. No, not Forever Run. The Puma Fast Forward Nitro, get it right. And the difference between the two shoes was like night and day. This felt fast, this felt, God, I just, like, it was trying to, just get me running even faster than I should be. I could feel the plate, I could feel the foam, it felt light and it just felt with me. Compared to the fast forward, it just was, yeah, it was just polar opposite really. Um, the shoe just felt amazing over that 5k distance. Now it's worth knowing that I've actually run a um, half marathon PB in this shoe as well. I ran a 136 at the London Landmarks this year in this shoe. But we've got the 5k done, brought it down to 1936. Uh, so I'm very pleased about that. But the shoe performed well as expected. I really enjoyed uh, the feeling of that going through the shoe. Um, I really felt like I was probably striking about here and it was really moving me through. I felt the propulsion of the plate um, the shoe, it was a warm day, so the shoe felt the shoe felt great and nice and breathable, but it just felt quick. It was sticky enough with the outsole, but it just felt supremely fast. So yes, very happy with this shoe, but is it faster or faster feeling than these? Well, now we've got to do a 10K to find out. Okay, so we're heading to Battersea Park to do a 10K, try and do a PB uh, of that race. I'm going to be wearing these to do that. Let's see what we've got and then I will report back, probably actually, once we finish the race. Okay, so 
Okay, right, so, Vaporfly 3, Ooh, where do we start? Right, so firstly, we ran a PB, uh, 42 something or other, um, which is a PB, so that's good news. Uh, but the shoe performed, I would say, well. It felt stable, uh, it felt quick, uh, and I'll come on to something in a minute, because oh, I don't know, there's something that's missing here. But anyway, uh, the outsole was good, it was obviously very breathable with this upper. Um, and it just, yeah, it felt, it felt quick on turnover, but... I don't know. It didn't feel like rapid fast. It, this felt like I was going for a 10K, so obviously, but this, this felt more towards a shoe that would probably work half marathon marathon, which is unusual because the first and second version of this shoe felt quick at all levels. But I don't know, there was, there was don't get me wrong, right? This, this was a fast shoe, I ran a PB, but it, it just, I don't know, it just lacked, that ultimate speed that the first and second version felt over the 10K. So I'm now thinking this is a half to full show for me, and that's kind of interesting. And that's why this video is kind of cool, because actually it's starting to make me think a little bit differently about my shoes. But anyway, we're here to find out which I feel is the quickest shoe. So I think you probably guessed it, the Hoka Rocket X2 for me is the faster feeling shoe out of these two. Now that is a massive claim, but this just feels really fast. It really does. It really feels quick over these sort of shorter distances. Would I run this in the marathon? Heck no, I really wouldn't. Um, would I run this in the marathon? Well, yeah, I'm probably thinking about it actually. But when I look at these two shoes and I'm looking for that fastest shoe, if you said to me, Fordy, you've got to go and run a fast 5K, 10K half, then I'm going here, people. I really am. The Hoka Rocket X2 is my fastest feeling shoe. Right, so, whew, big bold claim there, people. But let me know what you think. Have you got this shoe? How fast do you feel in this shoe versus this? Now, the Nike Vaporfly 3, just to you know, put it in context, is a fast shoe. I ran a 10K PB in this shoe. But it's a shoe now that actually I feel like I can stretch out to the marathon distance, which I never thought I could. So kudos to Nike for making this sort of, for me, a little bit more versatile, where previously I bought it for distances under the marathon. But out of these two, yeah, the Rocket X2 people, if you want a quick, quick shoe for race day, you know, below the marathon, then you buy the Rocket X2. It really is a fast, fast shoe.